The leaks around Samsung's software updates are getting crazier by the day. Just when people are still waiting for One UI 8 to fully roll out across Galaxy phones, One UI 8.5 has already popped up online in a leaked video, and it's not the kind of small, boring patch you might expect. This thing is packed with surprises that quietly point towards Samsung's next big leap One UI 9.0. The best part? The changes aren't hidden deep in the code this time, they're right there on screen, and they make the software feel fresher, smarter, and closer to what users have been asking for. Welcome back viewers, James here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss the next big leak I break down for you. Now, here's where it gets exciting. The home screen at first glance looks almost untouched. Same icons, same folders, same widgets. But dig a little deeper, and you'll notice Samsung quietly upgraded the app launcher version from 17.x to 17.5x. That doesn't just happen unless they've been tinkering with speed and stability behind the scenes. Think about it. How often do we complain about sluggish animations or lag when swiping between pages? This tweak hints that One UI 8.5 could finally be smoothing that out. But that's just the beginning. The settings app now proudly flashes the One UI 8.5 branding right at the top of the software update screen. Samsung wants you to know you're on something new. And they've moved the check for updates option to the very bottom, which may sound minor, but it's designed for convenience. Instead of hunting through menus, it's right there where your thumb naturally lands. Small detail, big usability shift. Then comes the dialer, and this is where things get bold. Forget those wide tabs at the top. Now, call log, contacts, and the dialer itself live in a floating, pill-shaped dock at the bottom. It looks futuristic, like something you'd expect on a next gen phone, not just a software tweak. Even the call button got a redesign with a subtle drop shadow that almost gives it a 3D look. But the real game changer here, Direct voicemail. Imagine listening to a voicemail while reading it in real time as the person leaves it. Exactly the kind of feature Apple hyped in iOS 18. Samsung clearly isn't sitting back. They're matching moves and even refining them. Now let's talk personalization. Galaxy Themes is no longer that cluttered mess you scroll through. The new splash screen pops with a paintbrush animation and the whole interface is split into neat tabs of themes, wallpapers, backgrounds, and fonts. Finally, no more digging endlessly to find what you want. Personalization feels easier, faster, and more inviting. Samsung Studio also got some love. Instead of the top, heavy menace, navigation now sits compactly at the bottom, freeing up screen space. And there's a new Stories tab that lets you grab quick templates for TikTok style videos or Instagram reels. It's Samsung leaning into how people actually use their phones every day. Not just long, polished edits, but quick bursts of creativity. But the crown jewel of One UI 8.5 might just be device care. Forget those emoji faces telling you if your phone is happy or sad, that's gone. In its place, clean text labels and wider bars for memory, storage, and battery, each with actual percentage figures displayed. It looks professional, it feels easier to read, and it gives you a sense of control over your device's health. This one change alone makes the whole system feel less like a toy and more like a serious tool. And here's where the rabbit hole deepens. Inside the leaked firmware are direct references to One UI 9.0. .0. That's right, this update isn't just about polishing what's already there. It's a bridge. A teaser of where Samsung is heading next. And if history tells us anything, One UI 9.0 could debut alongside the Galaxy S26 series in early 2026. So in a way, 8.5 isn't just a mid-cycle update, it's the preview of a bigger evolution. Put all this together. Pill-shaped docs, real-time voicemail transcription, a sleeker studio editor, smarter theming, a more serious device care. And you can see what Samsung is doing. They're not reinventing the wheel yet, but they're clearly setting the stage. One UI 8.5 is about refinement, modern polish, and bridging the gap between now and the dramatic changes coming next year. So the question is, are these small but meaningful updates enough to keep users excited, or are people going to hold out for One UI 9.0? Either way, it feels like Samsung is moving faster than ever, and we're just starting to see the real picture. 